Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, slow week over here, but we wanted to do a quick test on uh, some footage I was going through. I was checking out my hard drive and I was arranging footage from uh, the XH2S as well as my Olympus EM1X from back in the day and of course the Canon R5, which is where I started my video journey with wildlife. And arranging these clips, um, it was interesting to see some of the R5 clips comparing them to more recent stuff I've done on the Fuji. A lot of people are pointing out that the Fuji video autofocus um, for wildlife is, is terrible. Uh, I don't think that's the case. I think you need to tweak some settings. I think some firmware could help. Um, and going through the clips, I would say, you know, maybe I was a little wrong. Maybe the R5 is a little bit better. But the R5 still has a lot of problems. And I wanted to show some examples of clips where just things, you know, weren't perfect and they still would have been better in manual focus. If I'm filming a clip of an important moment, whether it loses briefly and gets back on or whether it loses slowly, either way it's a loss that manual focus would have prevented and it still um, detracts from where I trust. So uh, we're going to watch a couple of clips together. Um, these are all from the R5. I've had a lot of X-H2S footage up recently. I don't really have anything to compare back and forth. So uh, I thought this would be useful to, uh, to play. I'm just going to let it play through and, and then I'll comment as we go. So here we go. All right, so we got some geese. Uh, this is one of my favorite clips. Stands, but you know, one thing in my memory, I did not realize how noisy this clip was. It was low light, but the focus does get a little, a little drifty. Um, you know, it, it, to me, it looks like it's kind of moving around a little bit on the geese. Um, and then once that one leaves, it has a, no way to, to decide like who it goes to and, and where we clip. So I still like the clip, um, but yeah, I do not remember this being this noisy. I have not cleaned anything up. I don't have the, uh, the version um, of Resolve to actually clean clips. So that was nice, but a little, uh, little butt wag. I love this clip. I'll definitely use it, but like I said, I didn't remember it was so noisy. I mean, this looks like shooting 240p on the Fuji, so and you do have some issues where it doesn't doesn't know who's going to focus on. Uh, Northern Hawk Owl. So here you can see it drifts. It's lost them. Still lost them. Still lost them. Still hasn't found them. Hasn't found them. Now it gets them. Uh, <clears throat> this is a 120 FPS clip. Uh, much better here. This was in the middle of the day. The geese were later at night and my settings would have been a lot higher. Um, so the noise here looks good. Nice and sharp. Um, but you can see it lost them. So the Snowy does a good job here. I don't have anything really to compare the Fuji. It loses them here in the trees, but I mean, I think anything, anything would lose them at that point. This was a cool clip though. Same, another, another Snowy. Now you can see how close I am. There's no crop and these were shot at, at like 600 millimeters. Like I was like right, right under the pole. This Snowy's very cool with people. Um, she was hunting both of these times. She went down for a vole. She, I did not flush her on either case. Again, loses her as she goes down there. Probably anything would lose her. Doesn't, I don't think it ever gets back up onto her there. No. And again, I'm not knocking the R5. The R5 is a great camera. Um, but I think the point I'm making is that no camera is perfect. So the R5 is supposed to be, you know, it is one of the best cameras that you can get with a very powerful autofocus system. Um, and yet the Fuji costing, what, 60% of the price of the R5, I think is doing a pretty close job. It's For something that's 60% of the price, the autofocus is certainly not 60% as good. Even if the autofocus is 90% as good, but for a fraction of the price, that's Still pretty good. Now I am interested, I don't own an A1, I don't own a Z9. I know the Z9 had a lot of issues and recent firmware has kind of patched that up. So I'm curious to see down the road, um, you know, what does that look like and, and where is the most dependable video autofocus? But so far from reviews I've seen and my own research that I've done, I don't think any of them are perfect. So we're gonna see, but that's our first test done.